Hello everybody, welcome to part 6 of the creepy smoky logo tutorial that I put together. This is Buddy Blackford and we are using After Effects CS6. And today we are having like a major hot and humid heat wave again which seems to be a recurring theme every time I decide to make some tutorials but I'm gonna bear through it and and uh, just push on through the tutorial. And seriously, I'm just sitting here and I'm not doing anything except for talking and I'm still sweating and it sucks. <laughs> but let's uh, let's do this. In the last tutorial, we added some effects onto our text and made it uh, crawly and made it cool looking. So this time, we're going to add a reveal so it doesn't just sit there. So um, what I decided to do is use a particle system within After Effects to make a smoke cloud that comes rushing across and reveals the text. If you want to do a different way like a fade on or anything like that, that's also awesome. You can just animate the opacity. But um, I'm going to show you how to use a particle system and reveal your text that way. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is create a new layer and it's going to be a solid so new solid we're gonna call this uh, um, smoke cloud or something to that effect and I'm gonna make it like this color gray just so I have a a different kind of color right there the the uh, color isn't gonna matter because we're going to put a particle system on it so let's go to effect and I think it's simulation and then CC particle world and what happens is we, it gives you a, uh, a new particle system and this is already 3D as you can tell by this little cube box here so we don't need to turn on the 3D box here and we don't need a camera or anything like that so let's see I First, I like to get rid of all all of this uh, visual cues and stuff like that that they have on there. So I toggle down the grids and guides, and I uncheck these boxes here. I want the grid off, and then horizon can be off, and axis box can be off. So I don't I don't like having all that stuff in my way. I know what's going on, and this is pretty much just a 2D view, anyways. I'm not going to do anything really in the Z axis. So we can toggle that back up and now we can come down to the producer here toggle that down the particle here and we'll toggle that down I think we're gonna mess with the particle first to, so we don't have uh, this kind of stuff I'm gonna put it's on half right now I'm gonna put this down to uh, third it's gonna look a little crappy but then I'll, I'll, I'll switch back and forth so you can see uh, how different how nice it looks and whatever so this is what you start off with and I don't know why they may start off with this it looks like junk but let's go a few frames in or a few seconds in maybe how about yeah let's stay at two seconds because then our particles are already on the screen so we want to change the particle type here to faded sphere which is right here and what we're gonna do is get all these clumped together and then change them into uh, a nice looking kind of cloud now we're gonna change the birth size here to 0.5 and the depth size to 0.75 Let's change our max opacity to 33. And we're going to change our colors here to uh, some more smoky bluish colors. So let's change this one to like a dark bluish kind of color, like this. And then this one we can change to like a uh, more of a blue, bluish gray like something like this so 
So I'm going to turn this back up to half so we can kind of see what's going on. You can kind of see the particles in there, so we're going to have to put them together and make more of them. So first let's change this to screen for the composite or for the transfer mode here. We can twirl up the particle section. We don't need that anymore. Let's change the birth rate up here to something like 45. See now we got some more smoke going on here. And the longevity to 0.5 so they don't last forever. We can change the radiuses here. So it can be 0.3. This can be 0.1. And the radius Z can be 0 since we're not looking at this in 3D. Now let's go to the physics here. We can change the animation to direction axis. Change the velocity to 0.5. Let's see what we got here. All right. Let's go back to where we can actually see stuff. I probably don't want this much gravity. Gravity pulls the particle system down. I'll go over this uh, CC particle world more in depth in a new tutorial. That way we can just get through uh, making it and you can see what it does in this tutorial. So let's set the gravity to zero. Now you see we got something that's just going straight across now. So, I mean, that looks pretty good for uh, some quick smoke. We're going to make a rush across the screen, so it doesn't need to be perfect. And uh, if you work in a studio or on a, a movie or something like that, you'll see that stuff isn't, isn't like, uh, really perfect in the movies. You just get it done, especially if it's really fast. So I think that we should throw a blur on here. So I'm going to throw on a fast blur. And if you don't want to mess with a whole lot of uh, blur options, then fast blur just does basically blurriness and the way it, way it goes. So let's uh, do... Um, that looks good. It's going to rush across the screen, so it's not. It's, so we want it to be a little blurry. And now all we, re we really have to do is animate the um, the smoke coming across. So we can do that in the producer thing. Yep, producer. And if we hit a, the stopwatch on position X. And let's move ahead maybe... Oh, one second here. Let's hit the. Uh, let's go into our uh, smoke cloud property so we can edit keyframes, and press a U to bring up the keyframeable or the properties that we have keyframed. Let's hit another keyframe here. Now it's uh, built up. The smoke is already built up. So if we click on the. Uh, on the layer, the red part of the layer here, and drag it so that so that it's uh, already built up at the start of the scene, like this. That way, we don't have to wait for it. Now let's fix where the position is, which is going to be all the way off the screen. So like that, right there. That's off the screen. Looks like negative. 2.09 and then let's make it rush across the screen we can test to see if this is fa fast or slow enough in a second so that's 3.17 for me let's 
render it. Let's drag this out so it's all the way there. Let's move the work area to like two seconds here and then we'll see how fast it goes. I'm gonna save it before I ram preview it so it doesn't crash if it, if it wants to. Particle systems are intensive on your computer so sometimes it may crash if you have a lot of stuff going on so I always save right before. So a RAM preview. This should be a fast RAM preview at least. So fast it goes across. That seems pretty good. I think it's on there for too long so I might want to decrease the the Y radius. Don't really want it to be that much. So let's. No, that's not what I wanted. Not that one. What about this? Yeah. X radius. So actually I think we're going to decrease the longevity a little bit. That way it's not so long, which makes sense. Point three five maybe, and let's up the birth rate so it's a little more thicker. And let's see what that looks like. Ramp review. I think the speed is good. Might be able to make it a little slower, but speed's good. Let's see what happens if we make it a little slower. And that's fine, there wasn't a whole lot of difference, but um, just make it to your preference. If you want it faster, make it faster. If you want it slower, just make it slower by dragging the keyframe back, back and forth. So we'll stick with that for now. That's our smoke coming across. And in the next part, we're going to animate the, uh, the, a mask on the title so that it reveals the title. And we're also going to do the same thing with the smoke that's going over top of the title so it reveals that also and all of it's going to just appear when the uh, uh, particle system goes across it. So I will see you guys in the next tutorial and the next tutorial should be the final one so we'll, we are close to finishing. So see you guys there.